What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Boys. And we litty as fuck right now. <sighs> Nets pack is all in the air right now. Okay. The Hornets have done it again for a second consecutive year. We have beat the Kevin Durant Nets. Last year was Kyrie and KD. This was before the Nets trade even happened. We we beat their ass. Rozier dunked on KD, nappy-headed ass. Fast forward to this year, James Harden, Kevin Durant, doesn't matter. James Harden is getting dropped by Ish Smith. We hitting 360 dunks. Kelly Oubre dunking on niggas. Cody Martin embarrassing niggas. Just an all-around team effort. Just shitting on the Nets. Um, I'm very happy. All oh, these fucking notifications. I'm very happy, man. Like, this really made my day. Um... Cause the Panthers tried to fucking ruin it. They're, the Panthers are fucking losers. I don't think I will be doing any more Panthers videos, man. Um, unless we do a, a big trade for Deshaun Watson or something, um, I'm probably done reporting on the Panthers for a minute. It's just too draining. Um, Hornets are the best team in the NBA. For the first time in franchise history, they start 3-0. and I, I, I'm kind of surprised that we've never been 3-0 and before with some of those good 90s teams that we had. But, uh... Hey man, this is this is the best team that I think we've ever had as a franchise. Period. This is a deep team. The starters, the bench. There is no weak link. We have a number eleven draft pick that came and get minutes right now because we're deep. So I mean, I, I'm I'm super fucking happy, bro. And then we're doing all of this without our leading scorer from last year. Terry Rozier was out again today, sprained his left ankle. Um, last game, he was recovering from a right sprained ankle the game before, so he's on two bum ankles. So, hey, but anyway, this team is playing amazing, man. Uh, the first half, it was competitive the whole time. We didn't let the game get away from us. Uh, we were down 10. We, we lost, you know what I'm saying? We got lost a little bit on a run where we were just kind of turning the ball over. And, um, really... We were never really playing too bad. We were missing open shots. And that's kind of how we got down 10. LaMelo missed a, couple, a lot of open shots. You know, we, we were just missing, as a team, a lot of open shots that we started making in the second half. And um, that whole third quarter, the Hornets have, are becoming an amazing third quarter team. And the whole third quarter, we had zero turnovers. Zero turnovers in the third quarter. And that's fucking amazing, bro. When you can have a whole quarter without turning the ball over to start that second half, that's going to carry you some good momentum into the fourth quarter. And um, we came out and we did that. And, man, Miles Bridges is fucking amazing, bro. Miles Bridges has shown he's big time. He's real deal. He's here to stay. Um, it's crazy to think that he was coming off of the bench last year. Borrego, what the fuck are you thinking? He was playing out. He was out playing P.J. From the start of the preseason last year to I just don't know how. But either way, Bridges got the opportunity to show that he belongs and damn it, he took it the opportunity. Um just watched him right there do the fucking 360, bro. You know what I'm saying? We hitting three sixties, all of that. I mean, we we went on a 10-0 run to take a lead, take two point lead, Kevin Durant unstoppable from the mid-range you know what he's gonna do James Harden was hitting threes in people's face you know what he's gonna do but the Hornets never broke their stride they never got away from their strategy constantly attacking the basket attacking the basket come off the pick and roll attack the basket Joe Harris ended up with five fouls okay get them out of there quick they're already missing Blake Griffin you take away Joe Harris one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA, they can't spread the floor. Then next thing you know it, James Harden has five fouls. They they don't know what to do. We just kept attacking the basket constantly. And then we, we made our free throws. We did really good at the free throw line tonight. Let me see what our free throw stats are. Let me see what our free throw stats are. Um, Dude, what the fuck? Let me see what our free throw stats are. I know Miles Bridges was like 11 for 12. Like, he he made almost all of his free throws. As far as the team, I don't know. What the fuck is going on? As far as the 
team. I don't really know. Let me see. It just took me forever to get to that shit. So we shot 79% for the free throw line, 15 for 19. I think all four misses were from Mason Plumley. <laughs> so everybody but Mason did a great job at the free throw line. Mason, make your fucking free throws. His free throw is like... It's like it has a hitch in it. It's like Charles Barkley's golf swing. Like he's like... And then he hesitates before he hits it. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Shoot the fucking free throw. But, I mean, we're just breaking down the stats right here. We shoot 45% on the field goals. Nets shoot 43. We shoot 33% from three. The Nets shoot 25. And don't get me wrong, 33% from three is not anything to boast about. 10 for 30, that's, that's not what we're aiming for. But in this game, it got it done. 15 for 19 from the free throw line. The Nets shot 83%, 10 for 12. Okay, but we out rebounded the Nets 48 to 44. Offensive rebounds 10 to 9, so we're on the offensive glass. Assists 26 to 18. Blocks we had five, they had nine. We had 10 steals, they had 10 steals. Okay, but we had 12 turnovers, they had 17. Us not turning that ball over in the, in the third quarter is what really shifted the game for us. And then we had 56 points in the paint. So like I said, we were getting to the basket whenever we wanted. They couldn't stop it. They couldn't stop it. James Harden is doing all this step back flopping shit. He's not getting no calls. That's dead. That's dead. Okay. The Hornets came out as a team with a plan. Get out and run. Even off made baskets, we're getting out and running quick. Throwing full court passes quick. And I mean, I'm just so proud of this team, man. Because... You know, saying once you once we got down ten, we could have you know broke our spirit, but we kept making runs, man. Kept making runs, and shout out to Is Smith and Cody Martin, man, because they really sparked that run heavily. Mainly Is Smith in that third quarter, leading to that fourth quarter, but Cody Martin really helped close out that game. Like Miles Bridges had thirty two points with like ten minutes left, and he finished with thirty two points because other people started chipping in and taking over, and that's what we fucking need, bro. Like. For your backup point guard who had zero points at halftime, he finishes with 15. He did his thing in the second half. Cody Martin has 12 and 5. That's cool. That's what we need from Cody Martin. And Cody Martin's out here playing 32 minutes. But he was out there locking James Harden. Locking, <laughs> locking James Harden. I'm not going to say he locked Kevin Durant, but he was locking James Harden, bro. What did James Harden have? Let's see what he had. James Harden had 15 points. He had eight assists, but he had 15 points, bro. Like, Martin is a real perimeter defender, and he was getting so many steals. Like, he's just in the passing lanes all night just doing this. Passes could not get through. We're getting steal after steal. And that led out to run outs. And, I mean, him coming down and hitting the three. He coming down and hitting the three. I, I was impressed with him in the three. That's really what kind of put the game out of reach for real. You know, that that's what put that shit out of reach for real. Like, he came down and hit that three, and it was just like, oh, yeah, it's over. Nets are done. After that, bro, they just put their fucking bench in. But really, Ish Smith, to start that fourth quarter, like, LaMelo didn't play the whole fourth quarter. And we won by almost 20 points. LaMelo did not play the fourth quarter. He went to the scores table with about five minutes left. Ish Smith kept hitting threes, kept hitting floaters. He went back and sat the fuck back down. Bray goes like, we're good. Like, you know what I'm saying? So having that luxury to be able to rest our star in the fourth quarter, the Hornets have never experienced that ever. We're at a place right now where we have never been as an organization. And this is without Terry Rozier. This is with Gordon Hayward struggling. Gordon, ha Gordon Hayward has eight points tonight. Last year, if Gordon Hayward has eight points, we'd get smoked. Like last year, Gordon Hayward doesn't play well and Terry Rozier is out, we get smoked. This year, that depth, I mean, I'm I'm really proud of this team, man. And I mean, just just everything. It was so many things that we could point out that really led to this win. But for me, the biggest key points is going to be getting out in transition and, and running, bro. We got out in transition and ran. Like, we got out in transition and ran. And that was the biggest thing. The Nets couldn't keep up. They didn't know what the fuck to do. 
and uh steve nash had a comment where he said the hornets play random in transition and we don't we you know don't know how to guard it he said that before tonight's game and we came out did the same thing when you're on the break and anybody can push the ball up and anybody can take a shot and anybody can get to the rim on a fast break how do you get back on defense who do you match up with you can try to stop the ball okay we make the pass what do you do it's confusing that's hard to coach that's hard to uh that's hard to mirror in practice. So, I mean, really, like, Melo's getting layups whenever he wants. It was it was a all-around team effort, man. And uh, Miles Bridges, after having a fucking amazing game, you know what he says in the press game conference? Well, in the post-game interview, right there on the court, he says, yeah, this was a great win tonight, but we can't celebrate for too long because we have another game tomorrow. We play the Celtics tomorrow at home. And um, coming off a big win against the Nets, we say, no, nah, we got a game tomorrow. Like, that's that mature veteran shit that's like, yeah, we're 3-0 for the first time ever, and that's cool, but that's still not enough. He said that. That's not enough. And like, this team, I think they really have a chip on their shoulder with how the season ended last year. Us being a four seed, six, seven people get hurt. Like, crazy injuries. The most injuries I've ever seen on a basketball team six seven people get hurt and then we come out playing game we fall all the way to the 10th seed playing game get clapped by 40 50 on national television man that's gonna stay with us all year bro come out you beat the pacers you beat the Cavs. i didn't even do a video on the Cavs game because i wasn't home i was watching it from my phone the whole time but we played the Cavs. they have three seven footers in our lineup i didn't know how we were gonna adjust to that but we did came out get a w you come out against the nets kevin durant james harden at at the nets in barclays on the road get a win like that Cavs game was on the road so you're going on the road and winning games that you know th this is a serious team man and if we can beat the celtics tomorrow at home and be four and oh bro like it's going to be a great start to this, to this season, man. Yeah, all right, we have, we have 12 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, I'm going to try to attach some highlights to this. Jalen McDaniels hitting the three. I mean, everybody played good, man. Like, Jalen McDaniels only played 12 minutes, but he had seven. Like, I, I, to me, the minutes don't matter. It's about how you produce in your minutes. If you only play 15 minutes, oh, well, make the most of your 15 minutes. You only play 20 minutes, oh, well, make the most of your 20 minutes. Go out there and play good defense. Score when it's, score when you're open. That's all you can do. Maybe next game you play 30 minutes. That's how. That's just how it goes. And really, the biggest thing for us. I mean, I'm watching the game right now. Every time the Nets did something that could have demoralized us, we come back and strike. Like Kevin Durant comes down and hits a three, we come down and hit a three. Like we're not gonna get bullied by these superstars like we used to in the past. And I think that's the biggest difference between those old Hornets teams and now. That's really the biggest thing. Like, bro, I'm sitting here watching this game. I mean, Miles Bridges is having his way. Nobody could guard him. I mean, we're smiling the whole fucking time. Now, I'm, I'm going to attach highlights. I'm going to attach highlights to all of this stuff right here. But like I said, LaMelo's getting to the rim whenever he wants. Ish Smith is getting to the rim whenever he wants. Kelly Oubre is putting his head down, getting to rim whenever he wants. And he hit a couple threes. Well, I think he hit one three. I don't know. But if Kelly Oubre can hit threes, that is gonna he's going to get major minutes for us. I mean, he played 23 tonight, but that's mainly because he only got he got three fouls in the first quarter. So Kelly Oubre might be getting 30 minutes off the bench, which I'm fine with as long as he's hitting threes. All right, bro, we are, we are a very deep team. I'm going to put all of these highlights of us just getting out in transition because there's so many of them. Us just getting out of transition, finding the open man. Um, Plumley kind of. I got. I, I want to cover every player. Um, Plumley, he's a good. I think he's a good center, but he tries to do too much. Like he's a good passing center, but I don't need you trying to throw the ball behind your head and doing all this shit and turn the ball over. You're not Magic Johnson. You know, what I'm saying do center shit. You're not Jokic. Do center shit. You know, what I'm saying PJ Washington. We need more than five points from you, my boy. All right? You hit the game with the free throws, but you've still been playing like shit. Five points, eight points, five points. You're not doing shit, my nigga. Can you get the double digits? We need that from you. Thank you. Um, 
I mean, I'm, I'm just proud of this shit. I'm just, I'm, I'm really sitting here watching the game. I'm trying to decide what highlights I want. Miles Bridges hitting the step back three. I mean, we were demoralizing the Nets. Like, the, and that's going into halftime. That's going into halftime. And, um, I mean, we're down eight going into halftime, and that could have, you know, demoralized us. No, we come out, Gordon Hayward hits, hits a mid range shot. Me came out, kept getting buckets, kept getting buckets. And, I mean, we just kept chipping away. Kevin Durant's hitting threes. Pushes it from four back up to seven. That's something that could have broke us. We come right back down. LaMelo floater. Cut it to five. Like, we never let that shit get too out of hand. And that's going to be the Hornets' biggest thing. And that's, and that's the thing is, the stuff that we're saying pregame is matching up with the stuff that we're doing in the game. That's what's making me happy. Pre-game, we said, if we get down... We can't hang our heads. Can't let it get too big. We got to get back into the game. And that's what we're doing. So, I mean, I I'm happy, man. I I'm I'm so fucking happy. I don't even know what to say. I'm just going to wrap this up because I don't want to I don't want to drag this out, man. Great team win. Hornets, I'm fucking proud of you, bro. 3-0. and Us and the Bulls, the only 3-0 and teams in the league. Well, at least in the East. Uh, so you feel me? We're we're number two in the conference right now. I don't know why we're not number one, but we're number two in the conference. The Bulls face the Raptors. We face the Celtics. Hopefully, we're the only undefeated team left. That'll make me happy. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one tomorrow against the Celtics. Back at it. Thanks for listening, man. Peace.